Hello everybody, this is Cody vs. Willy, and, uh, I watched a video, um, this video to be exact, Willy123T's Good Brony or Bad Brony, and it intrigued me, I commented on it, and, uh, I, I was gonna respond to all of them, and at first I only thought that there was 12, like, whenever you said 24, I thought he meant 12 good and 12 bad, it's 12 overall. Uh, so I decided just to make a make make a video response and just say screw it. Um, what this is is uh 24 good reasons. I mean, well not reasons. 24 uh examples of a good brony and 24 examples of a bad brony. And I'll tell you how I feel about each and every one of these and what I, how I apply to them. All right, and I've read all of them. I totally agree with all of them. So, uh, number one, a good brony partakes in their fandom in their spare time. A bad brony quits their fandom to a religion. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, I do more than just my spare time, but I don't think of it as in a religion. That's way too far. <laughs> Like, honestly, it's not just my spare time. It's, like, all the time. <laughs> but it's not my religion. A good brony is taking... I, so I guess I'm neutral. I don't know. A good brony is taking entertainment from a children's show. A bad brony constantly tries to convince people that it's not a children's show. Mmm. I have to admit, I am one to try to convince people it's not exactly a children's show. It's like, this is what I say. I... I know it's a children's show, I can accept the fact, but what I tell people is that they weren't exactly just aiming for kids. They were aiming for an in for it to be, like, tolerable for the rest of the family, as well as the little girls. You know, I try to explain that, so, mm, I think I'm bad there. So, two, eh. Three, a good brony makes 20% cooler s comments when turning down the thermostat. A bad brony makes 20% <laughs> jokes about everything. I make 20% cooler jokes only around my friends whenever they know, whenever, like, I haven't made one in weeks. So very rarely do I do one, and it's kind of funny to do one just because it's, like, so random when I do it. <laughs> but no, I don't, I don't make it about everything. Like, this post is so 20% cooler than that last one. D no. Uh, a good brony is willing to discuss those who criticize their fan base. A bad brony accuses the person of generalizing and screams, We are not all like that. I will discuss it with them, and I will discuss why we're not all like that. And I would want to know why they think we're all like that. But I won't scream it. I'll, I want to discuss about it. I wouldn't... They, they are generalizing, and we're not all like that. But I I discuss it with them. I wouldn't scream it in their face. All right. <laughs> so I think I'm good there. <laughs> I'm not sure. It kind of confuses me. <laughs> A good brony accepts that some people hate the fan base's music, animation, fan fiction, artwork, games, etc. A bad brony will link that person to their favorite song, animation, blah blah blah. This will make you change your mind. I have never done that before. <laughs> if if someone didn't like it, I would ask them if they want to see my favorite thing from the fandom, and if whether they say yes or no depends on if I send it or not. All right. <laughs> well, I feel weird. I haven't made a video in so long. <laughs> yeah. A good brony will read cupcakes and give their opinion, whether positive or negative. A bad brony will read cupcake cup cupcakes and claim it ruined Pinkie Pie for them. I hate this. I've heard so many people say that they have read pi cupcakes and it ruined Pinkie Pie for them. So many people, and it really pisses me off. I've read cupcakes. I like cupcakes. They they did a really good job on it. They were they knew what they were writing and they did good when writing it. But it didn't ruin Pinkie Pie for me. Pinkie Pie is still my favorite pony. Because that is not her. Okay? 
okay, let's get, let's get that straight. It kind of takes me off. Hmm. A good brony calls himself a brony. A bad brony calls himself a brony and expects everyone to praise him for it. I expect no praise of anything. I expect to be shunned and to smile at their faces when they shun me. <laughs> uh, a good brony makes subtle messages in multiplayer games, hoping another brony will recognize it. A bad brony gets angry that said game lacks a brony server. I will... um, Let's see. I don't ever make subtle brony references unless I change my name to be something related to a pony. For example, for one point, my name on Steam was the element of laughter. That's obviously a pony reference. Uh, if no one recognizes it, I don't mind. We're just playing some Team Fortress 2 here. It's, you know, and then I go into a pony server and then everyone recognizes it and we're all friends. It, it, it really doesn't bother me, and I wouldn't even be bothered if there was an Opony server. <clears throat> Let's see. A good brony looks up Rule 34. A bad brony commissions it. I don't look up Rule 34, and even if I did, I wouldn't commission it. There's like, no way in hell. <sighs> oh, wait, we're not done. <laughs> A good brony inquires as to why Derpy was censored. A bad brony shouts and screams for an explanation and then starts a petition to keep her in. Uh, I... Derpy's awesome. <laughs> I like Derpy, but I wouldn't make a petition to keep her in. Like, it's... I, I really didn't see too much of a problem with it. Probably because that was the first episode I ever saw, but I digress. Um, a good brony practices love and tolerance. A bad brony keeps saying love and tolerance. I will admit, I used to be bad about that. I used to shove love and tolerance in everyone's face. Just be like, love and tolerate, love and tolerate, love and tolerate your ass. But um, I got better. And now I am actually, you know, doing the good one. A good brony makes a pony thread simulator video. A bad brony is in a pony thread simulator video. <laughs> oh, I finally get it now. I think those are funny. <laughs> I haven't made one, but <laughs> I think those are funny. All right, now here's the last. The la uh, <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I don't know if there was a cut there or not, but either way, we can see all of them now. A good brony laughs at My Little Pony parodies. A bad brony goes crying to pony confessions every time they see one. <laughs> I love pony confessions. They're hilarious. <laughs> a, good, a good brony accepts that men watching a girl's show comes with mild stigma and takes it in stride with a little humor. A bad brony writes an obnoxious song about how pers pers persecuted they are. I like... I... I, I don't care. <laughs> okay? It's, uh, yeah, it's a girl show. He, yeah, um... I already went over this. What the hell? Uh, well, more or less. I, yeah, I think it's funny. Okay, uh, a good brony sees many types of people in the world. A bad brony only sees everyone as either a brony or hater. It's, uh, no. Just, no. <laughs> I honestly think that's really crappy if you only think of it as a brony or a hater. Because what if they don't even know what the show is? What does that make them? A braider? Like, what the hell? A good brony is culturally diverse. A bad brony forgets that the entire show is written, drawn, animated, composed, and voiced, and edited by non-American staff. Yeah, they're Canadian. <laughs> Still North America, but not pure American. It's Canadian. Um... A good brony donates money to charity. A bad brony... A bad brony donates... Money to charity just to boost their ego and promote their fan base. I, I'll be one hundred percent honest with you. I've I haven't donated to charity before, but that's only because I live in a really bad and really poor family. I would 
if I really had the money, but I don't. But, um, to, yeah, I've always actually wanted to donate money to charity, even before I even knew, <laughs> before I only thought that ponies were the bad ponies, before, in the older G series. They're, they're not even that bad. Well, G1 wasn't that bad. 2 and 3 were kind of terrible, but that's another. That's a talk for another day. Um, a good brony trolls his buddies with My Little Pony. A bad brony trolls everyone with My Little Pony. I'll troll someone who doesn't know about it once, and if they don't like it, I'll stop. So, I guess I'm neutral, because I know when to stop. Oh yeah, and I love to troll my friends about it. <laughs> But only my friends that like the show, okay? Like, if they're also bronies, I'll troll them, and then they know why I'm trolling, and then they'll troll me back. It's all fun, because we troll everywhere. <laughs> but, you know, it, it doesn't go much outside those boundaries. A good brony thinks Fluttershy is cute. A bad brony claims everything Fluttershy does is the cure for cancer. I guess I'm neutral here, because I don't think Fluttershy is cute. I think Fluttershy is adorable. Uh, a brony... A, a good brony hugs random people. A bad brony gets angry at people who politely ask them to stop. Ah, uh, here's a nice hug for you. Stop hugging me. Bitch, I'll do what I want. Punch. <laughs> no. A good brony makes clever jokes at the coincidental innuendos in the show's writing. A bad brony will get angry at those jokes. I have never seen someone get angry at the innuendos. You know, you know, because in your endo, anyway. A good brony watches the show for fun. A bad brony watches it because they are addicted. What if you watch it for fun because you're addicted? Or if you got addicted because you were watching it for fun? Because that's kind of how it happened to me. I I'm addicted to it, but that's addi I, I got addicted because I, I, I was having fun on doing it. <laughs> So, I guess I'm bad there. A, gr a good brony likes MLP. A bad brony claims that it cured their depression. It... C hmm. It didn't really... I I've been depressed on and off about, like, a lot and stuff. But I wasn't depressed whenever I became a brony. I've never been depressed afterwards. But I wasn't depressed when I became a brony, so... Hmm. A good brony will reblog this and admit that they've done one of the bad brony examples on this list. A bad brony will reblog this and do one of the bad brony examples on this list. <laughs> okay, I'm a good brony there because I actually admitted to something on the up, upper section that can't show everything. <laughs> well, um, I hope this was enlightening and I encourage you to leave a video response if you are a brony and you want you've done the thing. To do yes, very much so. <laughs> I'll try to insert a random picture of some pony now, and uh, as it's staring into your soul, I will say goodbye, every pony. Uh, er, I made a video. Finally.